Welcome to SoundForge Pro, the program for professional sound editing. This video will show you the best way to work with SoundForge. After starting the program, SoundForge Pro displays an empty project window. To load an audio file, go to a directory containing audio files in File Explorer. Click on the Open button in the toolbar. The waveform provides you with an image of your audio material. For stereo material, the left channel will appear at the top half and the right channel will appear below. At the top of the file window, you'll find the transport controls for playback and stopping. To start and stop even faster, use the keyboard spacebar. Position the playback marker at the position where you want to jump to by clicking directly on the waveform. At the right, you will see a peak meter display. This is the peak control for the audio material. SoundForge Pro offers many options for editing and optimizing your audio material. For example, you can filter out noise from a cassette recording. This kind of noise usually exists through the length of the whole file. In such a case, you can open and apply the optimization effect directly. You can reduce typical noise using the dehisser. If an effect is to be applied only to a specific area, select the area first. You can magnify the view using zoom buttons. The mouse wheel can also be used as a zoom. Click on the waveform and drag it open while holding down the mouse button. Move the mouse pointer to the borders of the selection until it becomes a double arrow to move the section window. You can now move the position of the border. Now, open the effect, for example, the parametric equalizer, and make your settings. A small fade will be automatically set, preventing crackling at the section borders. You can load multiple audio files in one window, for example for writing to one audio CD. To simplify import, open an Explorer window in the View menu. The Explorer window can be docked in various places in the program. Select all songs with depressed control key to load these together. Drag the files to a free space at the end of the waveform window. In the Mix or Replace dialog, set how SoundForge Pro should add new audio files in the data window. If you simply want the audio material to be added at the end, click OK. The new songs will be added at the end in the file window and will appear in the waveform display. In the event mode, you can reorder or delete the new songs. Each new audio file is an independent event. Additional events can be created manually by placing the playback cursor in the waveform and pressing S. You can rearrange events using drag and drop. To delete a song, just select the event and press the delete key. The later parts move forward to fill the gap. If you would like to delete a specific area from the waveform, switch back to the edit tool and select the waveform section. Using the Edit menu, you can make sure that the selection lies between two zero crossovers of the waveform. This helps avoid crackling. After making a selection, press the Delete key. Waveform areas that appear later will be automatically moved forward, closing the gap. 
To burn an audio CD, first place CD track markers at the edges of events. Track markers make sure that CD players will recognize songs. Switch back into the Events tool. Using the Track list in the Edit menu, you can set a track marker before every event. Tracks will be listed below the waveform display. Here, you can also name tracks. Right-click on a track and enter a name. To burn a disc, select the Disc at Once process from the Tools menu. This command writes all tracks in the data window together as an audio CD. The Track at Once is recommended if you have created every track in a separate data window and want to write the tracks one after the other to an audio CD. To convert the contents of the data window, select the Save As option from the File menu. Here, you'll find the available export formats. This has been our introduction to SoundForge Pro. There are a lot more features to discover. Detailed explanations for all of the features can be found in the online help. Open it by pressing F1. Have fun with your audio files and SoundForge Pro. The SoundForge team.